and some school districts are now pivoting to complete virtual instruction. This comes among, amidst concerns about a post Thanksgiving COVID surge. Mary Jo Ola with more on that. With Thanksgiving behind us, some Wisconsin schools are moving to an all virtual model as an effort to lessen the risk of a COVID-19 surge. Just an opportunity to kind of take a pause, uh, get people some distance and get healthy. After months, either in person or in a hybrid learning model, students at the school district of Menominee Falls moved to all virtual learning this week. The superintendent says they're trying to avoid the post Halloween spike that made November challenging. We were carrying quite a few positive cases among our employees and our student body. Um, our students, we were carrying about 9% in quarantine prior to the break and already we're uh, we're down to about four to five percent. The district's dashboard shows 10 active cases among students with 132 in quarantine or isolation. For staff, four active cases and 12 in quarantine or isolation. Menominee Falls plans to return to in-person and hybrid learning next week. Kenosha Unified School District is also moving to all virtual instruction, but they're staying in it until January 8th. Their school board approved the move about two weeks ago in the face of surging coronavirus cases, a grievance filed by the local teachers union and a recommendation from the county health officer. Meanwhile, school leaders urge students and families to stay the course because what they do outside of school has real impacts. Wear the mask, keep the distance, avoid those large crowds, and you're going to keep our communities healthy. Monday was a work day for Menominee Falls. Virtual learning starts on Tuesday. Activities and athletics, though, are not affected and they will continue as scheduled this week. Mary Joel, TMJ4 News.